Welcome to Symbirian. We develop and distribute Symbior electromagnetic signal integrity software. This is a demo of uh, skin effect uh, computation in uh, with Symbior uh, 3DTF solver. Uh, to illustrate skin effect, I will use micro strip line segment shown here with seven mil wide uh, strip, one mil thick, one mil thick plane. Uh, port 1 excited with 1 volt, uh, in series with 50 ohm, and port 2 is terminated with 50 ohm. And I have the pre-computed current density here. And I check current density at uh, 1 kilohertz, computed again with Symbior 3DTF solver. And we can observe uh, instantaneous current value at different time as a fraction of period. You can see that the uh, distribution of current pretty much uniform and uh, return current flow uh, through the whole um, uh, return pass. If you take a look at from the top, you can see that the return current is pretty much uniform over there. What about 10 kilohertz? Oh, this is 100 kilohertz. We jump to 100 kilohertz. And we still can see pretty much uniform distribution of current on the strip. And uh, almost uniform distribution of current in the plane, in the return pass. Take a look from the top, from the side. Yes, uh, current flows through the whole thickness, right here, right here, again from here. Um, one megahertz, and you can see that the current start changing the shape inside the conductor and crowds in the conductor below in the return pass. If you take a look from the top, you'll see this kind of current lags behind. At, the, at those remote location here, side view. You can see beginning of the skin effect clearly. Ten megahertz. You can see substantially lower current value inside the conductor now. Um, Current density is measured here in ampere per square meter. Uh, color of the arrows and each arrow and um, length of the arrow correspond to the value of the field on this scale. Density of the arrows means nothing, they are just uh, ranged uh, adaptively to um, capture the skin depths. Now we can see that uh, current through the plane has some also delay on the other side. So if you take a look from the top, side, you can see that current below uh, at the bottom may flow in the opposite direction. And right here is the same thing. Inside the strip we can see some currents are flowing in the opposite direction to the current on the surface. 100 megahertz. Less current flow on the top, more current flow on the edges right here. And there is substantial um, kind of uh, delay uh, in the current flowing inside, so it's related to um, inductive property of the conductor, internal inductance so-called. Side view, and we can see that current doesn't go through the whole thing, so the skin depth is within this conductor thickness. Well, this is probably the most interesting part was from 10 megahertz to 100, giga, uh, 100 megahertz. And 
the rest is pretty much the same thing. So we can see that the skin depth is becoming smaller and smaller. So the currents are flowing closer and closer to the surface. Uh, not much coming through the plane and current dies in, within the no current in the middle of the conductor and that's with a 10 gigahertz 50 gigahertz and finally 100 gigahertz 100 gigahertz we can see um, one additional effect uh, and you can see that the skin depth here is almost kind of difficult to visualize but the currents are flowing not straight along the edges but slightly wiggling over there so let's take a look at uh, in a, with a different perspective and uh, see it as a color map you can see uniform distribution here with change with the time and next change to color map next color map now we can see this non-uniform distribution inside the conductor and we can see clearly current crowding in the plane color map you can see how current gets in waves inside the conductor and changes the direction as we saw with arrows also color map it's really interesting picture this is at 100 megahertz color corresponds to different values of the current shown here current density and now we can clearly see this skin on the conductor 10 gigahertz and so on it becomes thinner and thinner and thinner so what about uh, surface current density just take a look at immediately at the surface and animate it you can see how currents go in waves if you visualize this so this current density on the surface is in ampere, amperes per meter um, that's uh, surface current density so called and simultaneously we observe it with volumeric current density which is uh, in ampere per square meter uh, in the cross section uh, in the middle of the line so we can see waves how currents go in, in waves waves of the current let's observe it at 1 gigahertz animate it now we can see more current flowing farther from the conductor and um, don't see this wave because of it 100 gigahertz it's almost half of wavelengths here and let's see finally at the lowest frequency here instantaneous you can see how surface current goes through the whole thing and actually if you make conductor less transparent you can see it goes on this side and it also surface current oh it's better to see it this way there is surface current on the other side of the conductor this is the end of the skin effect demonstration. To learn more, visit simbirian.com. Application notes, um, webinars, and knowledge base sections. Or download and try Simbir now. It is available in download section. Thank you.